Hi. Uh, hi to everyone. So, sorry, I'm a little bit shy. Uh, so I'm Caterina De Mata, and he's Luca Di Cecca. And we are from LNC Studio. Our studio was born in 1997. And uh, I start with a little showreel. What you had seen are our latest TV shows. We work also on commercials and uh, educational uh, works, but uh, we wanted to speak about those this, today. Uh, so uh, when our studio was born, uh, my father founded to uh, develop art and social issue documentaries. Since 2012, with Luca, we started working in animation, and so we switched our basic field, but didn't switch our core issues and core values. That's also why we wanted to work since the very beginning with Blender for the animation. We started with a um, CGI show that was called Spaghetti Western and was aired in uh, Rai, Kids, our national broadcaster. And we had developed many, many shows for Rai Kids and uh, for YouTube since then. We always have educational and social content at the basis of whatever we produce and with a very strong sense for community, social, and shared culture and education. So this is also um, why we also started to teach university, at university, Blender, since uh, 2009, and my father started that, Luca De Mata. And Luca Vicecca actually was one of his best students at La Sapienza, and uh, two other students still work with us, is uh, Umberto Salerni, and he's our lead animator, and also our executive producer, Raffaella Copanese. So that is also how we started. We started like a group of students and um, 10 years ago. And here we can see a little bit of, no, this is me. And these are the production, uh, productions that we saw. And this is our studio. This is actually is not the office view, but the terrace where we can have the studio meetings. And now here are some of our shows, of our TV projects. Uh, the one that you see here, Buonanotte, is Good Night, had been all done in Blender. It's cut out animation, and it's a short movie about living together and community. Um, everyone at night wants to play his own music, but it's a total cacophony. I don't know if you know this word in English. It's like when it's a mess. And when they start to realize that playing together is better, they start to play and uh, make music, harmony. Then we had worked on Utopia, that's it's a feature film with another director, and we had done a um, video game style animation also with Blender. And this is Take Flight, where Luca Di Cecca and Nicolas Damoe spoke about it in 2019 here. Uh, it's a story of a little bird that is too scared to fly and how he overcomes his fear. And now we had uh, developed also season two. It's both VR, and for linear television broadcasting. This had been a very, very interesting experiment also for our kids. So this is Come Foglia al Vento is Leaves in the Wind. And this is a project where I had been very personally involved also for the story. It's the story of uh, Riccardo Calimani. He's a family friend and he, his parents survived the Holocaust and we speak about how they survived. We had done a very, very experimental technique. It's a docu-fiction with animation inserts. And animation inserts are in 2D animation. We started to test Grease Pencil with that. And also to test how to mix live action animation. And the animation we had done, it was done on uh, real photos of nowadays uh, backgrounds that we gave life to that. So there had been a lot of pre-production work up and we will try to, here you can see a little bit. 
Possiamo chiederle un'informazione? Siamo distratti a vedere... Quelle sono pietre di ciampo. Le discriminazioni è facile metterle in atto ed è difficile cancellarle. I tuoi genitori quando sono scappati sapevano il rischio che correvano? Non avevano coscienza di quello che stava accadendo ma si sentivano in pericolo. Come vere foglie al vento sbattuti di qua e di là. Thank you. So uh, we had done this production with uh, Raya Gat, the kids, and Uchai, Uchai is the uh, Jewish uh, national Italian community. And the target were kids, but also families, and it had traveled all around Italian schools with, with a very good success, especially teenagers. And hopefully, we think that this is also because we tried to change the language that was used to talk about Holocaust and to make it more modern, more somehow appealing, and to talk directly to younger generation. We had worked a lot with YouTube for many, many years, and that way we understood a little bit of the timing and what was searched, how much was the attention span, and we tried to apply that to a way more difficult topic to speak about than like science. <laughs> Actually, uh, so Riccardo Calimani, he's an historian and writer, and he walks around the Venetian ghetto. The, he's not an actor, but the two kids that he speaks to are two actors, but both of them are studied um, um, also literal um, history, so they knew the topic. So some of the questions that they had uh, asked him to the documentary, they're real, they're not uh, scripted. While other things were totally scripted, especially the parts in animation. Like we had, uh, so we had done a mix of scripted and unscripted uh, shooting that was pretty interesting and pretty difficult. Uh, also because he, he's not an actor, of course, so he was just saying what he wanted to say when he wanted. Um, <laughs> but we had to be very careful that whatever was animated uh, was carefully planned. Because what we had done also, like, um, like here we had the, make, like the, the photos of the stumbling stones and then we animated them to show that uh, Cardo Brand is the name of um, uh, Cardo Calimani parents that uh, got, went to Auschwitz. And, but we're not telling the history, we're telling the story of his parents. And his parents uh, survived because they, they understood that they had to run away. Not even they didn't understand what they had to run away, but that they had to run. And of course, we speak about race, and we speak about other teams, and we say strongly that race doesn't exist. This is a little bit of the echo that uh, the series had. And um, this is some background material. So we had uh, collected all the archives, photos, and redraw it on top of that, and then put uh, added some animation, some with CGI and uh, Luca worked on that, and then on the 2D animation and other studio worked on that it's John Adaparto Studios, and um, he had uh, worked with uh, Grease Pencil also on the, um, a little bit on the script, here are actors, and the location is the amazing city of Venice. And here is the Spanish synagogue where we had done most of the interaction between live action and animation. Because we, uh, it's the same place where Cairo Kanimani parents got married. They got married during Nazi occupation with all the Jewish community that came into the synagogue. That seems crazy now. And we had transformed and redrew the synagogue to how it looked in the past. Adding uh, people and uh, the ceremony and also working a lot with colors to symbolize what was before when um, Everyone was still in the same way of joy, and then what happened after when they realized that actually what was the drama that they were walking to. And this is the location manager. And this is a little bit of animation reference that we use and some uh, color palette. And we, this was the palette that we started with, but then we uh, moved uh, the palette to a more brighter one 
because we felt that all the movies that are set in the World War II were too dark and not contemporary, while what we wanted to give was the idea of something that is still alive somehow. It's not the past. It's today's story. So this is some stills from the storyboard. And the mission outline. Here is the scene of the synagogue. And it's how we transform and we draw on top of it and then give life to that. And we had worked a lot with a lot of consultancy from the historians, so whatever you will see in the movie that you can find in Rai, play up, um, it's totally historical accurate. Like also how the, we had done some um, uh, art, uh, graffiti, and we had done it with the characters that were done in the times. And this is another show that we had uh, worked last year. We started production in 2012. It's a TV series and with Still Right Kids, and this is about science. This had been, uh, from a production point of view, quite complex because we had to mix live action and animation in the same uh, shootings. So this is incredible. La scienza rivela l'incredibile. E ci migliora la vita. La scienza di stupire. So the, the two scientists you see here, they're not actors, they're two real scientists. And uh, what they speak about is the incredible of every day. We see in color is incredible, we don't walk on water, so that is somehow incredible. We need uh, to eat or to drink to be alive. And we wanted to simulate curiosity in small kids, so that they can start to ask questions about everything, and also to find solutions in science to do experiments, and so the, the three fictional characters are like the three small kids and the two scientists of Orcos, the adults. So we have a problem at the beginning of the episodes, then the fictional characters try to solve it, going in a fictional world, uh, but of course they make a disaster, and they come back to reality, and there, with the scientists, we do an experiment. In that experiment, we find out everything like about how um, a cloud is made or the, so the solution. And are all the experiments that you can do at home. We mix it a lot of things in this series. The, um, there are graphics that are 2D and uh, CGI animation and uh, live action. And also at the end of every episode we speak about a woman that had a role in that particular science field just to give back women a little bit of their place in history. Um, this, uh, his, she's Giuliana Galati, and she worked at uh, Super Quark, Italians know the show, and Andrea Vico. And he has a lot of experience also with kids. Now, Luca will talk. Thank you, Caterina. So, I'm Luca, I'm, I work with Katerina since 2020 for 12 years, more or less. So, I started with his father, he was a teacher at university, and uh, he teach Blender maybe 12 years ago, so, wow. And uh, I directed uh, a short film, Arthur and Siegel, that we presented in the, two years ago in the, at the conference with Nicolas, Arturo La Gaviota. And uh, I directed, I co-directed with uh, Caterina Living, Come for the Alvento, Living the Wind, Incredible, and a last short film argument that we presented today. So, let's start with the three main characters that uh, you saw before. So we started from concept uh, made by Fabio Santomaro, who is the architect on the, our studio. So we started from this simple concept uh, that 
clear also the, um, the mood of the character. So we have three main characters, two B, uh, that is an, an ampoule. Yes, an ampoule? Yes, I don't know the now. Uh, key, it's a monkey, and uh, phone, it's like a smartphone with a, a funny eyes. So we start modeling, we start, of course, by storyboarding the, the entire scene, uh, the entire series, and all the episodes. We use, of course, the grease pencil. And now we have a, a, little, um, a little video about the, the storyboard. We also edit in BSC this, uh, this storyboard. Even if the, the final uh, uh, edit is made with, uh, with Da Vinci for, uh, for technical stuff. And in this thumbnail, it's just a thumbnail, not a really complex storyboard. Uh, we figure out the main poses and what an important thing, the, uh, the expression of the, of the character. The important thing of this, uh, of of this, uh, this series was have the voices before the animation. So we, we filmed the, the live action more or less one year before the, the, the animation process. And so we have the, uh, a voiceover to uh, replicate the, the voice when the, the, the animation was, was finished. So we can go on because it's too long this video. Modeling too is quite simple for for the for all the character, and um, this is two B. This is sorry. This is phone. It's, it's a smartphone. And for uh, for the two character, we use the same leg and arm to simplify also the production because we have uh, more or less six months to 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 create uh, thirteen episodes. So it was so complex also to uh, all. To, to give in production also, also the modeling, the rig, and also the pipeline to the, to the final animation. This is, what about the rig? Uh, the rig was made by Nicolas Namore, who collaborates uh, with the, our studio. And uh, for more, more or less all the three rig, we used the Rigify system. And Nicholas, I asked it, we asked it to Nicholas to uh, give expression and of course also for the for mouth, for mouth, for mouth rig and also for the for the eye. You can see that there is um, uh, I think Nicholas used some Boolean operation to switch off the this kind of uh, of um, of emoticon of the of the character, and here you can see the this this the rig. So the character has a, a single eye at the at the rest pose of the at the rig, and when you switch off the the other uh, emoticon, there are, there are boolean to uh, to create other expression for the rig. For this was more simple, I think, about the rig. Also used the, a rigify system, and I think the. Um, so modular uh, shape, for, like for, exam for example, tail and eye, and uh, for I think that for the the mouth we use it a lot the uh, properties to switch off mouth in this rig and also in the, the other rig uh, that is um, the the ample so uh, to be. So here you can see uh, a quick uh, drive, a quick properties driven with driver that uh, drive so drive, drive the drive the the shape key. So um, and at last there was this um, this character Tubi with the same arm and legs of um, of phone. And here we use lattice to to stretch the to squash the, um, the eyes, and uh, uh, for this rig in particular, we use also the, uh, sh the, uh, the mask modifier to switch off the, the, uh, all the mouth uh, expression, and also for the, for the liquid inside, the, uh, for the water inside the, the ampoule, uh, we use some Boolean to, uh, to have a, a good result when also the, 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 the character move. And so thank you, Nicholas. 
Uh, here we are some animation test. This is the first animation test made by Daniele Scali, who is the su supervisor animator for this series. So after the production of the of the entire series, we of course we test and stress all the all the rig, and of course we we try to organize all the production during the the COVID pandemic. So. In particular, Daniele Scali, who is the supervisor, worked from uh, for French and most of people by whom. This one is just a test to, we try to simplify all the uh, interaction between uh, uh, men and the, um, uh, and the character because we, we had a lot of uh, scene, a lot of uh, minutes to, to produce. And what about the look there? Look up, it's so simple because, we, in fact, we have a very complex uh, uh, scenario, a real scenario. So we decided to simplify the, uh, the look dev, so the lighting, a look dev. So simply just three point light for each character and one word to, uh, to, to, to illuminate all the, the environment. And here there are some, um, some tests, some render in the, in, we call limbo. So in, in this episode, there is a, a real part where the character uh, inter, uh, interact with the real actor and another part with, where the, um, the character are alone in their, in their limbo. So these are the example on how we uh, match the, uh, so you can see the scenario are very, very complex and full of props. And now you can see uh, a small compositing of uh, the uh, teletrasporto, where, when the character goes to the, uh, 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 the, the, limbo, the limbo part. So this was for incred Incredible, Incredibile. The last project I want to present today is uh, Argueodi. So this is um, a project that a project that I wrote, uh, I think, three years ago. And I remember that uh, Caterina's father, Luca De Mata, uh, encouraged, encouraged me to, to make uh, a short movie. So, in fact, in the, in the opening of this short, there is a, uh, um, a dedicated phrase to his father. So, uh, what about Argeodi? So, I wrote this script uh, three years ago, as I said, and uh, I want to, um, to tell a story about uh, a dog and, his, uh, and a, a boy, Argo and Odi. So if you remember, Argo was the name of the dog of uh, Ulisse, Ulipsis, that it's also called Odisseo. So I tried to switch off the, uh, the story. So during a journey, during a, the, a long trip along the Mediterranean Sea, Argo and not Od Odisseo Odi, um, forgot his, um, his path. So during this uh, nightmare, during, during this, uh, this trip, he uh, met all the uh, characters that in the, in the real Odyssea Ulysses, Ulysses uh, meet, but under the shape of animal. And uh, this short film was uh, um, we, we presented to the, um, to, to the Italian minister so, and we, uh, what? We, minister, culture minister, yeah. So there is a little, tri little trailer about this project that we finished almost uh, one one month ago, and now we can, and now we will present to I think to the to to festival.
so, oops, sorry. Okay, so uh, the duration of this short movie is five minutes, of course, for kids, and uh, we produced it this, uh, this year. So we started all always from our, our director, uh, Fabio Santomaro, who made the concept. And the particularity of this short, short film were to uh, match the 2D uh, concept and try to um, replicate it in a 3D uh, look. In fact, you can see that the characters are not completely 3D. Um, there are no, no, 3D, no real 3D. And and of course, we created a lot of uh, mood board and concept before starting uh, modeling, rigging, and then animating. So here we can see some concept for, from Fabio Santomaro. And in particular, for character, we create to replicate the, the style. There are a lot of concepts. Of course, we created that handmade, hand, handmade uh, storyboard, uh, but it was, this was a, a very old storyboard, uh, I think, t three years ago, a preliminary storyboard. And here we have uh, some video about the, um, the modeling. So uh, as you can see, modeling is so simple. So we, we have less a few polygon, and as you can see, if the video turns, the body as a as a shape uh, almost 3D. Instead, the the face is similar to a plane, because we want to re replicate the, the the concept. Of course, also for um, for this uh, for this character, uh, I think. Yes, for this character, we created um, a base rig with uh, with Rigify, in particular. Uh, as for incredible uh, TV series, we, in particular for the eye, we, we created almost the same uh, um, technique with the driver and uh, and a mask uh, a mask system to switch off the the various shape of the of the blink. So uh, a base rig for this character. I don't know if I can. Yes. So you can see you can see the the rigify in uh, in this character, and um, of course uh, this this is almost look dev. So more or less we use always only vertex vertex color for this uh, for this character, except to the for the t-shirt because it, it's a simple concept, of course. And, um, and just uh, for the eyes, yes, we have uh, two properties to, to switch off the, 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 the blink. I want, to, I want to go again, because there is also for, the, for this character, for Argo, is the dog. We also have uh, a, simple, a simple model with a... Uh, with, um, with the Rigify system, so let's, okay. In particular for this dog, that switch, I don't know if you remember in the Odyssea, uh, 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 Ulysses uh, uh, meet uh, the Circe, who transform him, the, um, his, uh, his colleague in um, pig. So for this character, we create to switch mesh in particular of the of the tail to a pig shape and also the color so uh, most of the uh, of the material in some shape are, re are regulated by by a little rig and in particular maybe i can go on because the video is so slow i can't so 
we also try to um, to switch the rig of the eye. So um, for most of time, the character are, are, in, are in this position. So the the body goes uh, from, for example, right to left, and the and the face is also always in front. So we created uh, a switch between eyes to swap the uh, the. Um, the eyes on when the, the re, when the model have to, to rotate. We have some, some animation preliminary animation tests. So for dog and for the, for, uh, for 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 Audi. These are some play blasts about uh, the last scene of the of the short, and all, all just in the in the first outline, we try to create a match between 2D uh, scenarios. Not not all not only 3D. It's all it's just a paint and 3D part. We have also some some animatic here. So final scene just in uh, uh, in play blast. Also, there are a lot of uh, secondary character, but they are very uh, simple in shape and also in the rig. So, in particular, in that short film, it was important to create a match between these two characters. A uh, few simulating system, but very, very simple because the style is not is, is not going to a photorealistic uh, uh, for a photorealistic way. And some shot of the of the final image when you, you can see also that uh, there is not there's not a, um, a, co a great match between the 3D part and the and the sky. We we try to uh, to find a, um, a way to interact these two kind of of, scene, of, of technique. Some scene of the, of the short film. Here you can see that the, the, the moon is completely painted. And so that's for me, Katrina, if you want to come. Thank you. So uh, now it's 12 years that we work with Blender. Uh, for us, it had been very important for our productions. We have a very simple pipeline, more simple than other animation studios. We do all in-house, all with very few artists, around 15, 20. And some work remotely, or in, but most of them are in the studio, so they can interact one another. And we think that this, from a creative point of view, is very important. Uh, we kind of miss it during COVID time, of course. And Actually, last year we had around 50 people working in our studio because we had done also the, the live action part. And so that had been quite massive, at least for us. And we had uh, done so shooting, live action, 2D animation, live action and CGI animation. And of course, what we had tried to do in Agri Audi, we, it's more of poor animation. What we had done, we started with more simple shows and we had developed it into more and more complex. And uh, next year, hopefully, we'll pitch you another show that is a TV special that it's uh, 2.5D. If you have questions, we're here. And if you want to send our portfolio, your portfolio, we're here. And that's it. <laughs>